Let's have a look at this inequality. x minus 1 divided by 2x plus 4 is less than 1, and we're supposed to find all x that fulfill this inequality. Now, there are various approaches you could take here, one of which you might have been discouraged to take, and that is the one where we simply multiply both sides by 2x plus 4. Why shouldn't you simply multiply both sides by 2x plus 4? Well, the reason is that in an inequality, if we multiply both sides by a positive number, the inequality stays the same way it is. If we multiply both sides by a negative number, the inequality changes. So in our case, we have less than. This would become greater than. So before we can do this, before we can really multiply, we need to know if what we're multiplying by is positive or negative. Now, what do we know about 2x plus 4? Nothing, really. So if we did want to take this approach, we would have to take into consideration that 2x plus 4 could be positive or negative. So how do we do this? Let's get started. If we have x minus 1 divided by 2x plus 4 is less than 1. And I want to multiply both sides by 2x plus 4. So what do we get? Well, certainly, on the left-hand side, we get x minus 1. On the right-hand side, we have 2x plus 4. So what goes in the middle? Well, that depends on 2x plus 4. So it will still be less than if 2x plus 4, no change if we multiply by a positive number, so if 2x plus 4 is greater than 0. But we do have a change to greater than if 2x plus 4 was actually less than 0. So what we now have is two sets of inequalities. We will have the first one, the first line, which is x minus 1 is less than 2x plus 4, but at the same time, that's why I'm writing end, 2x plus 4 is greater than 0. We've got the other one, I'm going to put an or here, x minus 1 is greater than 2x plus 4, and at the same time we need to have 2x plus 4 is less than 0. So let's see if we can solve these inequalities. Let's start with the first line. So x minus 1 is less than 2x plus 4. That simplifies to minus x is less than 5 if we subtract 2x from both sides and add 1. And the second one, 2x plus 4 greater than 0, simplifies to x is greater than negative 2. And the second line simplifies to minus x is greater than 5 and x is less than negative 2. And let's take one more step. Minus x is less than 5 of course means that x is greater than negative 5 but we also had x is greater than negative 2. For the second one, we then have x is less than negative 5 and at the same time, x is less than negative 2. So what do these come to? Let's sketch the situation on the number line. If this is negative 5 and this is negative 2, let's have a look at what the first line does. x greater than negative 5 means we've got all values greater than negative 5, so going to the right, but excluding negative 5. x greater than negative 2, we start from here and go to the right. And there's an end in between, so that means both have to be fulfilled at the same time, so we're looking at the intersection or the overlap of these two. So that would actually be this blue line, and that's the same as x is greater than negative 2. So that's the solution for the first line. Now let's look at the second line. We've got x is less than negative 5, so that would mean we go from here to the left. We also have x is less than negative 2, so we go from here right to the left. And the overlap in this case is of course this part here. So we get x is less than negative 5. Now, the first line gives us x is greater than negative 2. The second line gives us x is less than negative 5. There's an or in between. So the solution in the end 
will be that x is either in this part here or in that part here. So we could write this as x is an element of the interval from negative infinity to negative 5, excluding negative 5, and union with the interval from negative 2 to infinity, excluding negative 2. So this is the solution. And as you could see, we could multiply by a variable or an expression carrying a variable in an inequality. We just have to make sure that we don't forget to add this part here. 